In November of 2017, Sony launched an initiative through their awards program. Earn platinum trophies, earn credit in the PlayStation Store. But this made them too powerful. They announced the program would end on November 7th, 2019. It is now one man's mission to earn as many platinum trophies until that day arrives, before it is all for naught. These are... The Trophy Files. Hey yo, it's time for another uh, Platinum Project video. Um, Alright, so this one is in One Piece Pirate Warriors 3, and if you're a longtime fan, you'll remember that, hey Nick, didn't you do a Let's Platinum in uh, One Piece Pirate Warriors 1? And I would say, yes, you're correct, thank you for your good memory. Um, yeah, they haven't gotten easier, so all three Pirate Warriors games have ridiculous trophies, and they get progressively easier, but they also still suck. Um, let me look it up on PSN Profiles, because I have this one ready, but One Piece, how many One Piece Platinums do I have? Just one, I think. Um, no, I have two, Burning Blood and Pirate Warriors, okay. So, Pirate Warriors 1 relied on RNG, um, which was, you, it's, it, it's all about the fucking coins, it always is, but it, you had to collect every coin, and the problem with that game was there was no guarantee for coins, you just had to play through levels and hope that it would randomly drop, so that sucked, but I got that eventually. Um, so Pirate Warriors 2, um, I'm missing a couple other ones as well, but... They come down to cleared all episodes in the highest difficulty, acquired all secret coins, uh, and can clear a bunch of stages with different characters. The hard part in that one is I think you're required to S rank every mission. In that one, part of your S rank is determined on how much damage you take, which I'm not a big fan of, um, especially in like harder difficulties. So that's why I don't have this that one. But that's not the game I'm doing. I'm doing this one. So this one fairly straightforward. Uh, increase 20 more characters crew level to max and then complete the entire gallery and this is another one of those like um, <clears throat> misleading trophies where they're like oh just complete the gallery and oh you only need to do 20 crew levels to max don't worry it's not that much wrong what they should have done is also had a trophy that just said get every character level to max because what they don't <laughs> tell you is if you look on the right of the screen next to the character it shows like that little book that's shit that's part of the gallery, and you only unlock that by maxing uh, the character, and every single character has different stuff that requires them to be maxed, so it's garbage. Uh, I currently have, I think, 18 max leveled, so almost all the Straw Hats. I don't know why Brooke isn't there. Uh, and then a bunch of the other like main characters. So there's two ways to level them to max. One is to play as them, which is how I got most of these ones. Um, like That's how I got this whole row, basically, just by playing as them. The other one is to have them in your crew, quote unquote, um, during missions and use like your special abilities with them, which sounds all fine and dandy, except you can't select who's in your crew, <laughs> which is what makes this so fucking frustrating. And then I'll add another detail about this. So one of the trophies is to 100% the legend log, which I think I've done for this. Um, let me see, what's the button for it? What the fuck is the button for the menu? Am I crazy? What happened here? Oh, right, duh. Um, so yeah, part of it is getting 100% here, and that means getting S ranks on all islands here, which, you know, I did at one point. So, so <laughs> in a confusing state, once this is the dream log, this is like, kind of like extra missions, where it's like, oh, you do a, you do a battle, it usually stars one or one character, or it's like a, uh, a faction, so it'll be like the Fishman Pirates, or it'll be like the Navy, and whatever, so. Um, I did all of these, and then it resets, and then you have to, like, it'll, like, you can go to any island, like, as you can see right now, I can't go further than this, but I can go to any island that I've already beaten. Um, it resets, and except you can move around the entire, like, thing, you can move to every island. Uh, somehow I got rid of the save for that, because I... I thought you could choose to restart at any time at that point. So like, I would let like if I didn't see the characters I wanted to to fight because you need like their coins and stuff, I could restart and then it would just like go back to 
every all the islands would still be unlocked, but it would just refresh the characters. No, I rest I hard restarted. <laughs> so uh, I beat it again. So it's te this is technically the extra mode, but I still have to beat the secondary islands because uh, that's just how this goes. There's also bounties, which will drop uh, more rare coins and stuff, like you can see. Uh, let me see, over here. No, that's a regular character, but yeah. So there's a bounty there. Uh, all the bounties are always like the secondary characters that you can't play as. Um, but yeah, that would be helpful if they weren't on a space that I couldn't go to. So, yeah. Basically, my it's, it's good and bad. It's bad because I can't move as much as I want to. It's good because, I mean, now I can... Uh, sort of have a goal to work towards. Um, where's these blue parts? So, there's a whole big Google Doc of which stages in the dream log you should do if you need to unlock certain characters. So, like, there'll be one stage that'll be like, team up with the prison inmates, and you'll have a chance to level up, like, the Minotaur or whatever. Um, and if you don't get this, so, let me show this. So this shows me, um... This will show me who I'm teamed up with, so Alvita's a good start. And then who I'm going against. I can also just, uh... So you can back out and redo it, and it'll, like, refresh who your starting ally is, like, from the pool that it is, so... I do need to keep leveling up Alvita, so I'll, I'll keep with her. At, I'm at the moment where it's like, there's enough where I can that I have to level up where it's not too bad, because I have a lot of options. But at the same time, I'd prefer if it was just a little easier. So, uh, I got pretty lucky. There's another trophy that was holding me back for a while, which was, um, break through a character's level limit. So to do that, you have to beat everything with them, get them to level 50, and get a bunch of other, like, side shit. Um, you have to do all of that, and then you have to, um, uh, have a chance to find their character coin. Uh, or their, like, miscellaneous coins from just, like, fighting other things. And, uh... I was very lucky and very fortunate because Kuzan, or whoever you want to call him, Akaji, he's one of the characters I like playing as because of his, like, that move I keep using where he fucking freezes everyone. His special is pretty good too. Um, so I don't mind playing as him. Um, but the, so I got lucky that I, he was the first character I unlocked or maxed out level, I guess. So the normal max level is 50. Um, but then it goes up to 100. It would've been cool if I got like Luffy or one of like the main characters, but I'm honestly pretty fucking fine with Kuzani's. Pretty damn powerful. Um, and then, yeah, I have a bunch of skills. I haven't looked at my skills in a while. My, I looked at the last time I played this game was in October, so uh, it's been a while. I also shouldn't keep attacking like this. So there's a couple requirements to S rank everything. I don't have to S rank anymore, but I do it out of habit. Um, for the dream log, the S rank requirements are pretty easy, I think. I forget what the time limit is. I want to say it's like eight. Finish the stage in under 18 minutes, which is nothing. It's either that or like 10 minutes. It's something really small. And then uh, you have to get 1,200 uh, exclamation points, which you can only earn if your partners uh, attack someone, or if you kill someone in this mode, which is Kazuna Rush. Basically, your partner or your crew gets like a meter on the left, uh, and you can, uh, when it charges up, you can go into that mode, and th every attack you do will finish with them also doing a couple of, like, attacks, so it's a, it's a really good mood, you're very strong when you do it. Um, but, I'm trying to think. So, you also add a character to it with every, uh, with every person you, like, add on. I'm trying to think of how to do this. Um, so, like, if usually you'll start off with like two crew members so I had Alvita and then whoever my second crew member would be then I would try and level their bar up and that would allow me to get uh you know so they, they're now I have two people during my Kazuna Rush thing um, which is kind of overpowered and then three and then, then I think it maxes out at four uh, but if you're trying to level one person you want to just keep using that person anyway now oh, see there's Burgess and Teach so they're probably gonna join my crew no, they're not. They, they lied to me. Okay. So sometimes there's like a couple of set events. So there's the main mission for each mission. Uh, which, this one is defeat the New World Pirates. And then there's side missions where it's like a couple random characters will just come across the battlefield. And it'll be like, hey, meet up with this person. 
um, or something like that. And when that happens, you'll beat them. Usually, if you, it's kind of think of them as like side missions. If you beat them, usually you'll get like another crew member added to you for this battle, and then um, you can go from there. Yeah, this, this move is broken, <laughs> and I love it. I think I have it strengthened, too. Okay, so you also get coins, but coins don't matter very much anymore, because all my characters are, like, max stats and stuff like that. They need, like, a specific character's coin, so, like, some you might need, like, Luffy's, or you might need, like, uh, Whitebeard's, and then they can, like, upgrade their, like, attack and their stamina and stuff like that. Uh, it's always worth doing the special move, even if you don't, too. The other thing, cool thing when you expand your crew is that you also, that mode lasts longer. And it's kind of annoying me that I haven't gotten any more crew members because it's super short. I always get the proms wrong for this too. So to get that big ice move, I have to do square, 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 triangle. And I keep accidentally going square, 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 triangle, which does a different move. Which is still strong, but it's not as good. Okay, so I need Alvita to reach down there. That's my main mission right now. Okay, so yeah, so Teach and Burgess just joined me. Um, Teach, I think, is level 5 already, so I'm not going to focus on him. Usually, I'll still do him at least once, so he's added to my attacks, but I don't know if I'll do that this time. I'm on the other side of the fucking map. Burgess, on the other hand, I think he is playable, I think. Or he might be, I'm not sure. But I don't think I have, have him even like close to level up, so... Alright. So the problem with Kuzan is I'm having trouble getting that meter up. I might have to take a look at his skills again, because I don't think he's like optimized for this mode. Right, and there's Usopp, and then Whitebeard randomly appeared. So those two are in a random like... Oh, okay, so Usopp does a new move, and ac he accidentally attacked Whitebeard. That's the plot of why you have to go defend Usopp. They're all just quick, like, little side things like that, and I do appreciate them. One of my favorite things from Pirate Warriors 2 was seeing how some, certain characters from different arcs would interact. Um, so this gives you, like, a small glimpse of that, where it's like, hey, what if this character met this character, and it went really badly or really well. I definitely gotta make sure I boost his, uh, thing. So I'm not getting these fast enough, which means I'm not getting my, uh, my exclamation points. So the other thing is sometimes their uh, their meter will go up a little bit extra. So like Burgess right now has an extra meter. Um, if you get that maxed, he'll activate his hero power, which more often than not is like, oh, if you do this, it'll uh, uh, they'll start like raining attacks down on the entire field. Uh, but I, it's, but it's only for a limited time to like activate it, which I ran out. Okay. Um. But yeah, all in all, the gameplay for this is fine. It's just, you know, it's it's a grind. It's For tr trophy-wise, it's not terrible. Especially with some of the other ones I've done recently. But it's not particularly great either. Um, it's not something I strive for. Okay. So what you're part of... Oh, so I think that was a main story thing. That wasn't a side story thing. Okay. So yeah, like, you have the special attack. It always... <laughs> some, they have a... They have a first, so yeah. Kuzan's mo move is called Pheasant Beak. I pronounce his Pheasant Back. So it always combines his, like a uh, prefix from the other character with his suffix, which is uh, Beak. So we'll have like Slim Slim Beak or something Beak or Fire Beak. And it's just a dumb thing, but it's fun. Okay, for this one I have to, I could go, actually I'm closer to Whitebeard and he's about to kill Burgess. So this is another uh, thing. Your teammates are on the field, and they can like attack and stuff. Um, and if you, if they get close to being killed, you can go save them, and it'll instantly charge um, whoever's uh, meter you have equipped at the moment. So if you're trying to level up multiple people, it's worth it to like um, make sure you switch to someone who you need to level up, and then go with them. That and uh, meat are the only things that, like fully charge those. Um, Meat isn't that rare, or isn't that uh, frequent. It's either this one or Pirate Warriors 2, but there's a trophy for getting, uh, or it might even be Pirate Warriors 1. There's a trophy for getting uh, 100 meat, which just comes naturally, so. But yeah, this is another one that I'm like really close to, but I've just got like one trophy I'm waiting on. So, I gotta do this about a billion times, <laughs> uh, with a bunch of different characters too. 
I should try and level up Burgess and Alvita. Because Burgess, I think, might be playable. I should be focusing Alvita. Usopp, I'm not going to bother with, or Blackbeard, because I already have their, uh, um, what do you call it? I already have their, uh, them to rank 5. Usopp is rank 5 because I also did the story mode, which counts towards this. And the story mode, you just play through the anime. And, um, the anime, oh, Marco, too. I think Marco is level 5, too. And if he's not, he's playable, so he's not as high of a priority. Um... But yeah, there's a couple different missions. I usually take my time, because I'll try and go for, like, the S rank. But, like, I have plenty of kills, but I still need some, uh, some exclamation points. This is a lot easier when you get the, uh, the, what do you call it, the ability that makes Kazuna rush charge faster. I'm going to have to look at his skills again. And then they all have taunts, too. Um, I think Luffy's taunt is he takes his hat off or he puts it on. Zoro puts on his bandana or takes it off. There's all, like, pretty funny things. Oh, well. So if you hear that music change, it means, um... God damn it, who's blowing up my phone? If you hear that mu music change, it means you're at the last stage. So, Monet is, uh, the boss here. And I know that because she has three health bars. Um, I want to make sure I get... I want to make sure I get my, uh... What do you call it? Um, I want to make sure... I get my 1,200 exclamation points, so I'm going to quickly go off and kill a couple extra people until the meter's charged. I swear the meter usually charges much faster than this. Like, much faster. He must not have any skills equipped. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So usually there's a ton of uh, enemies in the final area. But because she, like, ambushed us, quote-unquote, there's less enemies. So I need to get, like, 1,200 more, which is going to be tough. So, I think they'll keep spawning as long as I don't defeat the leader. Um, but even he's going to get, like, splash damage. Come on, I'm so close. Oh, I can probably get it now. There's enough people here. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Alright, so I don't care anymore. Now I'll go and uh, kill it. This is just force of habit. I don't even think I need to do this anymore. It just... It's for my own sanity. <sighs> So I don't know if they get points every time they're in one of those, or if they're like the primary one. Nope. She's about to go down too. Some characters are faster than others too. Like, I've been playing as Whitebeard for a while, and he's a bit slow because he's an old fucking man. Uh, let's do Burgess. See, that's it's handy when your teammates get the shit kicked out of them, because then you can come over and instantly get a recharge. I know Monette is another one who's... um. Uh, who you can't play as, but you still need to level up. So the other thing is when when it, they usually the bosses especially will activate a hero power. This gives them like extra health too as it's going on. Usually you have to like zero their uh, their hero bar before you'll you can continue attacking them, which isn't too hard. It's just uh, on higher levels it gets much worse. There are a couple things that can take them. Inst uh, I know there's a couple things that can take you out of Kizuna Rush. So there might be a couple things that can take you out of like that mode. But yeah, alright. And I get XP, but it's still not charging. So this is the screen I'm talking about. So Burgess is still level 2. Um, uh, Alvita, I almost said Bonnie, is still level uh, 2. Blackbeard is actually not the level I thought he was. But it doesn't matter, because again, he's playable, so it's much easier to level him up. Um, they do get a little tiny boost just for joining your party whether you use them or not. I think, as you can see the difference in the bar, I think they get more the more you use them, though. Okay, so Alvita went up to level 3. That's good. So these are the coins I'm talking about, where it's like, you need these to level up your characters, except it doesn't matter, because <laughs> I'm, he's already maxed. Uh, when you attack uh, someone who's like standing on a space, they're supposed to give, or have a high chance of giving like a bonus coin, too. But not always, I guess. Alright, so now I unlock this area. And then Monet is going to keep moving. I can't... I'm so close. I can't get to her from here, though. Okay. Um, I might as well just keep trying to go through her. But, uh, yeah. That's that's more or less it. Just 
because you keep doing this. Um, the the further up you go, the higher the levels go. So I'm used to fighting like level 50s, and then this is the final one. Uh, you basically just have to fight all of Luffy's crew in that one, uh, and it's kind of tough, but there's a ton of enemies. Um, but that's more or less it. Um, yeah, so I just gotta keep grinding, keep getting everyone's levels up. So let's, uh, let's actually let's look at this. So the meat of this is I have to get these to level 5. I have to get everyone to level 5. These four are not playable, and they only appear with certain factions. Virgo only appears with Don Doflamingo. Morgan, I think, can appear with the Marines, but not very often. Uh, he, he does appear in the East Blue section, which is kind of easy to find, but he's not playable. Minotaurus definitely only appears with, um, what do you call it, the, uh, um, with the Impledown people. And then Don Krieg, also pretty much only in the East Blue stuff. Uh, Jabra is not playable. Um, Centimaru I don't think is playable. It might actually just be easier just to look at who's playable. Um, because there's a good amount of characters. Like, it's not bad, it's just, there's also just so many more that aren't. It's, it, the thing with this game, with the Pirate Warriors games, they're always so fucking close to, like, just getting it right. Like, if you just let me choose who I bring to a mission, that'd be fine. But it's just, like, they're always just, like, slightly off. Alright, so you got the Straw Hats, so you got all nine of them. Um, and then you have, uh, bad, um, other pirates. So you got Buggy, uh, Mihawk, Crocodile, Perona, Moira, Moira. Teach and Doflamingo. I think he has two versions too. Because um, I, I think you can use him as just his dark powers and then also his dark power and his uh, uh, earth breaking, whatever it's called thing. So then you have ally pirates. So we have Law, Jimbei, Hancock, Marco, Ace, and Whitebeard, and Shanks. Then we have the Marines, which is the three admirals Garp, Smoker, and Tashigi. And then we have Other, which is Eneru. Rob Lucy, Kuma, Ivankov, uh, Magellan, Caesar, Kuzan, uh, and uh, Sabo. So, it's a solid uh, amount of like people you can play as. But again, the problem becomes there's so many more that I that are unplayable. Okay, so now I can double check this. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, uh, 13, also Kuma and Pacifista are different, which is bullshit. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 25, 26, uh, tw nope, 26. No, okay, so there's 26 non-playable characters. And I don't have a single one of them max leveled. Every single one that I have that is max leveled is playable. All my level 4s are playable. And then level 3, I have a couple that I've gotten up there. But it's going to be a long fucking grind. There is, There are lists that are like, hey, we recommend you play this one so you can get these max levels. But it's not... Uh, <laughs> it's not reliable. And then, wanted poster. Oh, cool, I didn't know I could do this. I have plenty of money, let's do it. So I can force a wanted person to appear. I don't know how many can be on the screen at once. And I also don't know if they only last for a certain amount of time. I think I can actually reach him. So this is cool because if you attack um, a wanted poster on a space that you haven't beaten yet, it still counts as beating that space. So that's good. And then I can uh, change his skills um, during this. Of course, if you could move on everything, you could just get the wanted poster as you go. Um, I don't think you get experience if you fight them. So, like, fighting Captain Kuro's not going to do it. Oh, this gets the Minotaur. I definitely have to do this then, because he's supposed to be one of the more rare ones. Battle prep. Let's look at your skill set. Ice crash. Uh, damage inflicted on frozen enemies greatly increases. That seems good, but then usually I just kill them before they get frozen. Uh, special attack automatically increases. Increase the Kizuna gauge easily. You say that. Attack great, uh, greatly increases with every 500 KOs. That's not a bad one, but... I should do this one too because I keep using that by accident. Uh, Captain's Wisdom, Chip Doctor, Special Gauge. Um, greatly increase the attack of your Kazuna attacks. That's not a bad one. Um, 
Damage inflicted on stunned enemies. High attention or special attack damage greatly increases. I think what I'm going to do... Hard to see one's true form. Um, yeah. Ooh, what's this? Yeah, okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove Hero's Strength. I'm going to remove Ice Crash. Because, again, they're not going to be frozen for very long. So it doesn't... This, while I appreciate the skill, it's not going to matter. Um, I'm going to use Warrior's Wisdom, which increases the damage that special attacks do. Um, and then I guess I just... I don't know what else to do. Like, I've got all the good skills. I don't know why he's not doing more damage. Um... And like I said, this is the coin section, so it's like, oh, you need one of these special coins, which I have. 15 of any Impel Down prisoners. Uh, I have 99 of pretty much every character at this point. Just because I haven't needed to use them. Alright, well that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, another Platinum Project video. I don't know. I could do another one in uh, One Piece Pirate Warriors 2. And also, in theory, that one should be easier for me to get than this one. But, um... I don't know, it's hard to go backwards after playing a better version of it, because Pirate Warriors 3 is a really fucking solid game, and I do enjoy the gameplay, it's just, it's just a lot of grinding. So, thank you all, and I will see you in the next one. Hey, time for Patreon shoutouts. Um, so for the month of June, I had to think about it for a second, thank you to Ertrev, Sean, and Norm for the $1, and J brand new this month, Andy for the dollar, thank you. Uh, Carlos with 2, Azor with 3, Maz and Happy with 5, and then Sean Thomason, Connor Silverwald, and Sir Aniak with 10, and Michael Smith and John Barnett with 15. Thank you. Love all of you. Let's continue. Sorry, that was weird of me. I understand that might look weird, because I'm not using the handle. Alright. Uh, and YouTube is broken on Firefox, so I have to open this in Chrome. So give me a second. So everything's weird. And uh, for the YouTube stuff, thank you to Maz for the four months, Eniac for the four months, Louisa and John for the three months, and Michael Smith for three months, uh, Raptax and Electric Narwhal for the two months, and Mayo with the two goddamn days just made it in this video. So thank you guys. And uh, as always, um, if you guys join either of those, it doesn't matter which one, uh, you get access to a special, special tab on the Discord where you can see... All of the uh, videos that I upload early, uh, that I, you know, because I upload them and then release them incrementally, so you can see them a little early. Uh, also, it helps me out. So, yeah. Also, a reminder that the uh, seven year, I can't remember how old this channel was, seven year anniversary is going to be on July 20th. That is a Saturday. Um, it's going to be a 24 hour stream, so it's going to start at noon on Saturday. Going to go until noon on Sunday, the 21st. Um, it's not when the actual anniversary is, but it's a weekend, so I figured people would be more available. Uh, so yeah, there's a separate video about that. You can go find that one. Uh, it should be uploaded on July 1st, which is the day I'm recording it. I actually haven't recorded it yet, but I'm assuming I will. Um, so yeah, see you guys there, and uh, enjoy the... Well, not enjoy the video, it's over. But enjoy the next video, I assume, because you're just going to watch every fucking video on my channel. Right? Right? Right?